breaking news this morning as the city of Lubbock recovers from overnight riots. Welcome back to Daybreak Sunday. I'm Sydney Kessler. We begin this morning with those overnight riots in downtown Lubbock. Now those riots shut down traffic on Broadway and 19th and University as well as the Marsha Sharp Freeway. Now here's a live look at that mess left behind. Most of the activity was centered around Broadway and University. Now those overnight riots stemming from last night's big win for Texas Tech because for the very first time in program history, the Red Raider men's basketball team is going to the national championship. Doesn't that feel great to say? The men in red scored the spot with a 61-51 win over Michigan State. Our KCBD sports team was there to catch it all and joins us now with more on what's next. Good morning, gentlemen. A sportacular Sunday morning to you, Sydney. This is KCBD News Channel 11 at noon. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Sydney Kessler. We have breaking news out of South Lubbock. Firefighters are working to get a garage fire under control in the 5200 block of 94th Street. So far, there is no word of any injuries. We will keep you updated online and on the air as we learn more. This is KCBD News 1011 Daybreak Saturday. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Sydney Kessler. Overnight, a massive storm moved through the region, bringing with it heavy flooding and power outages. But the hail is what caught almost everyone's attention as it blanketed the region and caused damage to property. Good morning and welcome back to Daybreak Sunday. I'm Cindy Kessler. And I'm a very excited and proud Kelly Plasker. <laughs> Kelly, fans <laughs> all across the Hub City are celebrating this morning because, as we said, for the first time ever, the Red Raider basketball team is going to the Final Four. We have a consumer alert for you to be aware of. Nearly 100 people in nine states have tested positive for salmonella. This after eating pre-cut melon from select stores like Target and Walmart. Whole Foods, Kroger and Trader Joe's have also been affected. Texas Tech will test its Tech Alert emergency communication systems and outdoor sirens at 1050 a.m. Again, I'll say that one more time, 1050 a.m. on Wednesday, March 20th. So don't freak out when you hear it. The system is used to alert the university community to emergency situations, class cancellations and delays. Talk about a birthday present that has taken on a life of its own. In New Jersey, a man has received more than 15,000 messages and calls, all wishing him a happy birthday. And it's all thanks to an elaborate prank put together by his sons. Meg Baker explains. A new estimate now claims that the state of Texas may owe the federal government more than $22 million after illegally decreasing special ed funding. It really is a great time to be a Red Raider. Now, if you've been taking part in any of this action, which I hope you are, it may be taking a toll on your productivity and your wallet. Wallet Hub estimates employers face $4 billion in corporate losses due to unproductive workers during the season. And it has an impact on your personal funds as well. According to Wallet Hub, the average bet on the NCAA tournament is $2250. There's also an increase of more than 20% in beer sales and chicken wings orders during the tournament as well. No surprise there. <laughs> We're trying to learn more about a shooting at the Hitch and Post Club. That's on the 1900 block of East Broadway. Police say they were called there around 337 this morning. And police say one person is suffering from life-threatening injuries after a crash yesterday afternoon in North Lubbock. It happened around 340 in the intersection of 4th Street and Toledo Avenue. Well, back here in the Hub City this week, United Supermarkets donated $1 million to Texas Tech School of Veterinary Medicine. In Philadelphia, it was a scene out of an Indiana Jones movie. Seriously, as these real estate investors foiled a booby trap that was left for them in a stairway. One that caused a knife to swing and aim for their heads. But today, the government shutdown officially becomes the longest in U.S. history as we enter day 22. In South Carolina, the man accused of murdering a local college student is in jail. Now officials have some very serious warnings for those using ride-sharing services. Carrie Sanders has more on this very tragic story. Have you ever been told to smile more or put on a happy face? Well, you may be covering up your real emotions with an unhealthy habit. Now to some developing news out of New Zealand. Brenton Harrison Tarrant, the man accused of shooting and killing 49 people yesterday morning, has appeared in court. The 28-year-old Australian citizen was remanded without plea until his next scheduled appearance in the South Island City's High Court on April 5th. R. Kelly has been released from jail. This after an unknown person made his child support payment, which totaled more than $160,000. This as the women who live with the singer 
speak out. Morgan Chiesky has the very latest. CDC health officials say the flu vaccination is your best defense against the virus. It is recommended to get the vaccination every year, but now the CDC also says that the vaccine is safe for pregnant women, which squashes rumors that the flu shot can cause pregnant women to miscarry. To some stories making news now, a federal judge has threatened to block Carnival cruise ships from U.S. ports. This being a possible punishment for the company after they possibly violated the terms of its probation. Texas Tech's going to the Final Four. Some of you act a good surprise. Texas Tech's going to the Final Four. It is finally time for the big dance. In less than 12 hours, the men in red will face off against Michigan State at the U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. And that's where we find our KCBD sports team, Pete Christie and Devin Ward, who have both been following the Red Raiders through this historic journey. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Sydney. It is finally here. The Red Raiders taking on Michigan State. Sydney, we send it back to you. Thank you so much, guys. And for those of you who couldn't make it out to Minneapolis for the game, there are dozens of watch parties across the Hub City today, including some at the usual game day venues like for golf, crickets on Broadway, and the Buffalo Bay Marina. Now we have a full list of all the places you can go to watch today posted right now at KCBD.com. And a huge shout out this morning to the Texas Tech University cheer and POM teams. Yesterday, the co-ed teams were named the Division I National Champions at the competition in Daytona, Florida. You could say it's been a pretty good week to be a Red Raider. Well, turning now to our weather, it was a stormy night here on the South Plains. But are those showers expected to continue for the weekend ahead? Kelly has more details. Kelly, a lot of people have plans for tonight, but will they need a rain jacket? 